Ah, sorry, the, the startup screen took a while. Um, I did this thing where, what, it's 3 p.m. And I press the start stream button. Because every time right before I start stream, I always like kind of think for a second. I was like, have I done everything I need to? No, like, urgent messages to respond to or anything? And I said, no. And then I press start stream. And point one second after that, I go, oops, I haven't eaten today. So, uh, oops. Uh, I immediately press start stream and, and cooked a hot pocket. So that's where I'm at right now. Um, yeah. Mmm. Delicious. So that's, that's my plan. What flavor? Um, pepperoni. I like the pepperoni kind a lot. Wasn't today the rat race? It is, but Coney streams late. So I, we have like two hours to shiny hunt. And then we're probably going to rat race after that. Mm. First time Shatter says, oh yeah, where is Twitch chat? There we go. First time Shatter says, what is almost over? Uh, I've started this Nuzlocke in January of last year. Mm. And that's it. We've just been trying for a while and nothing's happened. Nothing, nothing good has happened. So... I do got some bad news, though. Um, so hold on to that magic number of 700, right? We have encountered 700 polywags in hopes of catching one shiny. And then when I opened my Switch up today, they were like, Hey, we got to update the Switch. And I go, okay. And um, when you do that, it closes the game. So our streak of 700 is gone. But we can do it again. We can do it again. It just means the next 31 are going to be not great odds. Oh my god. Thank you for the five gifted though. Macky wacky. <laughs> I thought you saved. Uh, if you turn the game off, no matter if you save or anything, the streak dies. It's uh, You have to keep it alive in the same session. Oh my god. Solaris. Thank you for the 10 gifted. So it was more so like I know not to turn off the game. But for some reason, when I get presented with update the switch, I'm like, yeah, sure. You know, I just don't think about that. Hmm. Hmm. So whatever, we're on limited time before we got a rat race later. What even is rat race? Coney and I are going to be streaming uh, Ratatouille for the Nintendo GameCube and seeing who can beat it first. Oh, well, we're back. We're so back. Um, in the meantime, how's it going? How's it going? Hmm. Hmm. When did I get the polywag? I didn't. I never got the polywag. I'm sorry. We never did. Why 42 now? Oh, it's probably just a typo. Um, so let's start the journey on getting our shiny little polywag. Wasn't it 40 before? Yeah, my bad. Um, yeah, we have to catch 40 new ones. What do you mean, ah? What do you mean? I don't get it. Chat, I don't get it. Oh, a Melton! So, uh, he looks restless about the nearby presence of Pokemon. So here's here's a fun little fact. Uh, wait, I want I want to get this. I had this Melton cost me real life money, and so did he, by the way. Yeah. Um. I, I have been trying, hear me out, I have been trying for over a year to to catch Melton in Pokemon Go, and I recently learned it's actually shiny locked unless it's an event. So I took two desperate measures, and uh, these guys come to us fresh from the land of eBay, which means they're very real and genuine Pokemon that still count as a new encounter. I mean, in the Nuzlocke, 
we have never caught a Pokemon in the region of e eBay. So, it is a new encounter. Yeah, well, let's change this to... Uh... Wait. Okay, there we go. Um, yeah, it's a new encounter. Yeah, so four... Oh, shit. Four... Okay. There we go. There we go. He's probably a real and legitimate capture, too. I, did I just do it again? Yeah, I really just do it again. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I was about to say, I have not caught 500 or 402 Pokemon. We're just going to keep it. We're just going to keep it. Uh, what's fun is that since I don't have another monitor, I am uh, I am looking... The exact same screen you're looking at is what I'm looking at. So when you see my face cam blocking the text, I see my face cam blocking the text. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to rock with it. We're just going to rock with it. Uh, Melton is a little guy we got to level up. For, oh, he's an adamant guy. Um, this guy, uh, he's also adamant, but he's already level 100. But you guys know about eBay claws, right? Where, like, if you buy a Pokemon on eBay, it doesn't apply to the level cap. Y you guys know. You've done a Nuzlocke before, right? Right, yeah, of course, eBay claws. Yeah, yeah, of course. Of course. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Any experienced Nuzlocker in chat is familiar with eBay Claws. That's for sure. Yeah, who could forget eBay Claws? All right. Um, so now we start the journey. Back to square. But here's the thing. We don't have a catch combo up because the Switch had to update. How much did eBay Claws cost you? Honestly, $4. I think it was like $3.50 actually for both of them. We take those. Not that bad. Hmm. How do people not know about eBay Claws? Do people really run Nuzlocke without eBay Claws? Some people not know about this? Why not just buy all your shinies then? Because eBay Claws only applies for the Melton line. Chat, like, come on. Do I really have to explain this? Like, come on. Are they hacked? No, they're real and legitimate. I bought them on eBay. The guy said they were real, so, like, why would he have to lie? Yeah, come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> come on. So, the first 31 are going to take a while to catch because the poor, the Poliwag has a 45% spawn rate. Which is pretty high. We should be catching them. I feel like Magikar probably has like... I don't know. I want to say maybe 50 and then 5% Poliwhirl. That's my guess. Mm. Can't believe people don't know eBay Claws. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm shocked. So yeah, now we just gotta... We gotta level up Melton. He's growing. He's a grown baby boy. I'm a, I'm a pretty big guy. I like Melton. Oh, also, where's the prediction? Do we have one up right now? Okay, yeah. Longer than Vulpix. Yeah, so, uh... I think the deniers are right for this because you're betting for 50 Pokemon with 30 of those encounters having, like, lower odds. I side with the deniers here. If we get a shiny Poliwag, it will be a statistical anomaly. Honestly, so is being double odds right now. Hmm. I use eBay Claws all the time. Yeah, dude, I wouldn't have even been able to do my Scarlet Violet Nuzlocke if it wasn't for eBay Claws. But yeah, I... Here's the thing about Believers right now. They know the odds are stacked against them, but there's still a chance. So why not go for the biggest return possible? No, I see it. I see the vision. I do side with the deniers, though, but I see the vision. No, I respect it. Oh my god, so many carts. So many carts. Yeah, just imagine, though. The, the believers have been imagining for a while. It's going to feel real bad. 
when someone who's been denying for like the past 700 Pokemon believes once, and then they're right. Any believers right now been denying the whole time? Because if so, you're about to get the fattest payout. We got two shiny Kappas. Why not um, shiny Poliwag? Well, that's what I've been saying. I really thought the shiny Kappa was going to, like, be a good omen. But in fact, we wasted all our shiny luck on the hype trains. I just paid rent. Which is, like, I'd rather have a shiny. I'm sorry. We were so close. Okay, blue square. Come on. Turn up. Turn up. One of the, come on. We have so... I have two hours of just this ahead of me. I think this is going to be the longest one. I think this is going to be longer than Vulpix. Hmm. It's begun. Look, I... Uh, I genuinely do not... I think this... Uh, no, it, it tops Vulpix. 100%. Oh, wow. Ocean Waves. Thank you for the, the raid. Um, we're just shiny hunting, and we're on uh, encounter number 704, which is a lot, by the way. It is essentially double odds. So things things are going great. And we got the Poliwag Prayer. The copy pastas have begun. They never stopped. They're always here. <sighs> okay, no, that's 706 right there. Uh, so, how this goes is once we get, uh, recover our streak of 11, Poliwags will start appearing more, and then when it's 31, we'll be set. We'll be back. Ah. So close. Yeah, I guess. I guess that was almost a shiny. If you want to look at it that way, I will say it was almost a shiny. <sighs> so, uh... Seen any good movies lately? Oh my god, so many carps. Yeah, just kill them. Did the game close exactly at 7? Yeah, it went to 700 exactly. Oh, there's a Poliwag. Oh, and a Carp. We can get rid of one Carp. Hmm. What the hell is Dune even about? All I remember about Dune Part 1 was everyone said Zendaya in the advertisement is the biggest grift of all time, so I just assume her character died. And then she's in part two? What even happened? It's just about sand? Cool. Holy War? But Zendaya's there. I see. Sure. Big Worm? I've seen that. I've seen the popcorn tub for Dune, and that told me everything I needed to know. Panic? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't either. I don't know spoilers. I'm just saying guesses and shit. Oh, here's a little polywag. Mm. <sighs> what am I eating? I just booted up stream and immediately realized, wow, I have not eaten at all today. So it was kind of like a... What do I do? And I just had a hot pocket. So I just cooked a quick hot pocket. And that's going to be like my snake meal for the day. Uh, it's got to last me through shiny hunting and a rat race. So let's hope it's enough. Let's hope it's enough. Mm. Oh, thoughts on Marvel Overwatch? 
Dude, that shit looks hilarious. Uh, if it's good, I'll play it. If it's bad, I'll play it longer. Like, that's how I feel about it. Hmm. Yo, Corviday, thank you for the five. Thank you for that. Good to see you. I hope you're doing well. Who's your main? Who's my day one? I don't know. I think... I saw uh, Iron Man shoot a giant fucking laser, and that looks pretty funny. So I think I want to try that. I think if I had to pick the day one, I think I'm going to try that, because it looks pretty funny. What was the other shiny you got last time? <laughs> last time. <laughs> oh, good one. Good one. Oh, no, that's a good one. Um, none. None. The answer is none. Uh, but we will try to get a shiny polywag today. Um, luckily, thanks to eBay Claws. We get to skip to 42. So we have... If we catch Poliwag Shiny, we'll get a Wag, Whirl, and Wrath. So that's like three. So we're at 45. And then at that point... Oh my god, we're not... If we have one good Shiny day after that... Remember when we got three Shinies in one day? If we can have one of those again... Oh, we'll be done. We'll be done. What else is catchable? Realistically, I think this is the last three evolutionary line we have. I mean, there are there like Machop, Abra, and stuff, but those are kind of rare encounters. So it'd be essentially like Shiny Hunting Charmander, which we did, but we have to admit it was by entirely, it was just sheer luck. Uh, Gyarados is probably going to be in that. Uh, hmm... Are you doing the Johnstone thing? No, I am not. I'm just trying to beat the game with shinies. Not catching every shiny. It's just a... It's just a different way. There's just a roadblock. Koga is the last roadblock to beat the game 100%. Did I get Diglett? No, I did not. I feel like I should get Diglett. Okay, so... We get Diglett. What else? Like, Shelder or something? Diglett, Shelder, and then Magikarp, no Gyarados? I think it's kind of funny to just be like, Magikarp is our 50th. You know what I mean? Why is Melmetal in this game? Excellent question. Anyways. <sighs> Go for Spiro again? Yeah. What happened to the 378 streak? No, no, we lost a 700 streak. It's just because the Switch updated. That's fine. I mean, once we get to 31, it's like nothing happened. It's like nothing happened. But it's going to feel a little anticlimactic to 53 and be like, Oh, that's more than bull picks. And it just says 53. Uh, we'll count them all, though. It's because of the eBay clause. It's always because of the eBay clause. What shinies do we have? Oh, we have 17. Or I guess we have 19 now, because Melton and Melmetal are two separate things. Because you can't evolve them in this game, so I had to get them separately. Ah, oh, come on. Is it Tangela an easy one? Why would Tangela be easier than any other Pokemon? What shiny took the least amount of catches? Um, I think... I think it was Geodude. I think Geodude might be the lowest one. Because Ch Charmander we didn't really do encounters for. We just kind of like did full odds and got him super early. Like Charmander is easily the best 
odds we've had, but we didn't. We only caught one Pokemon for Charmander. We caught just the shiny, you know. Wait, so you've been stuck in the same area for nearly years? I haven't been stuck here. I've traveled around. I'm just returning to where I was 14 months ago. How is the square treating us? Uh, it's going fine. Nothing crazy today. But praise be to the mighty square. Alright, guys. I'm going to give you uh, a command. Chain. Uh, switch updated. Oops. We lost our 700 chain encounter. Alright guys, every time someone says what happened to the chain, just reply to them with exclamation mark chain. Also, I just realized, I looked up, Illumise has gifted like 368 subs recently. That is insane. What the hell, why? I mean, I know most of it was for, uh, uh, the, the Golden Kappa, but like, god damn. Yeah, that's insane. Illumise, you are banned from gifting subs. I think one more sub and I feel bad. Just chill. There's like a limit. I think anything in triple digits, like, anything in double digits, I feel bad. Anything in triple digits, I'm like, okay, okay, come on, come on now, come on. Why do you torture yourself with this challenge? Hear me out. I like it because I get to talk to chat. Think about how many times you guys are sitting in chat and I'm not reading it because I'm playing a game or recording content. What's so nice about this run for me, the streamer, is I can go on as many tangents as I want because I don't have to worry about making good enough content for the video because I know it's going to be entirely post-commentary because why the fuck wouldn't it be? You know? I just get to talk to chat. That's the magic of these streams for me. It's a just chatting stream with grinded gameplay. It's just like uh, some flashing colors to keep you interested. And then you get some adrenaline. Like once every... Uh, normally, like once... I usually say once a stream, but we've had a couple dry streams lately. Uh, every now and then, we get to all pop off and say, I was here in chat, you know? It's just a matter of when it happens. Alpha, any tips to motivate yourself to create content? No. The answer is just do it. But, like, even I struggle with just doing it sometimes. But the answer is just do it. It's like most things. It's like... I've been being like, oh, I should go to the gym lately, and I'm not doing it. But if I just got up and did it, it'd be so much easier. It's it's just that simple. Huh. Where are the guys? There's a guy. Stop reminding me that I need to go to the gym again. I really need to go to the gym. I think this is the longest I've gone without going to the gym. It's been a minute. I'll like run once a month and be like, whew, I'm back. I'm so back. And then I just don't do it again. What is my favorite stream ever? I think my favorite idea I've ever brought to stream was probably the draft lock way back when. I really like speedrunning Mario Odyssey. I think that was really fun. Um, I just like it when I get to play, like, more, less common games and people still want to watch. What happened to the streak? People keep popping in. Yeah, just, uh, the Switch updated, and, uh, I didn't think about it closing the game. But it did. We didn't lose any progress, we just lost the chain. Nothing bad happened. So once we get back to, uh, 31... We're, we're going to be so back. Oh, and we got a couple new guys. <sighs> Games like Balan Wonderworld. Yeah, I didn't stream Balan Wonderworld, but that would have been an example. Who's excited for Monkey Monday on April Fools? Yeah, that will be interesting. That will be something new. 
Who are the new guys? Uh, well, we got a Melton and Mel Metal, but they come from uh, the eBay region. Which you guys, you guys know. I was educating everybody on the eBay clause, which uh, you're of course with the Melton line. How else are you supposed to do it? The eBay clause is the only way to catch them in the game, so it, it works. It's in the rules. It is in the rules. Um, one second, one second. Um. Yeah, if anyone wants to type exclamation mark rules, like, it's in the rules, you know, and it's always been in the rules. So I would just take a little look. It's in there. Yeah, see, it says, with eBay Claws active. That's true. That's true. What is eBay Claws? Well, I mean, how do you catch Melt and Mel Metal in this game, right? You can't, but with the power of eBay, you can give someone $3, and they will trade both Shinies to you. So... Uh, you know, I'm just playing within the rules I've created. Amazon Claws next? No, that's a stupid idea. Why would we do that? <laughs> that's just not how the game works. Uh, am I doing Rat Race with Tony today? I am. Unless he cancels last minute. He did message me yesterday saying, hey man, if you don't want to do it tomorrow, we don't have to. I'm sorry for putting you on the spot. And I was like, do you want me to back out? What are you What are you trying to say? <laughs> and I was like, I'm not backing out. Are you backing out? Uh, anyways, appropriate nom, thank you. Thank you for the five. Hey, he's scared, Chad. He yeah, sounds scared to me. Yeah, he doesn't want it. So, I'll tell Kony this uh, later today, but uh, one of my editors actually used to speedrun uh, Ratatouille, which is very funny. And then, he messaged me and he said, hey, here's a guide on how to speedrun the game. And I'm like, dude, I, I can't. I can't do that. I can't. And then he goes, okay, what about just this one skip? And I was like... Okay, it could be funny. How much time does the one skip save? And he goes, it'll save you like three hours. And I'm like, dude, I, I can't do that. <laughs> could you imagine? <laughs> I think like, he, like it's a three hour skip. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Like, come on. Dude, would it be hilarious? You just want me to be like, Fake the surprise, like oh, something have or I just don't even draw attention to it. Yeah, I just don't even draw attention to it. Well, I'm just saying, if Coney pulls out the skip, I know the skip. Yeah, what if Coney does it? It's honestly, it's. <laughs> I guess I gotta be prepared for the reality. If Coney does it, I'm gonna go back and do it. I know the skip. I know the skip. So if Coney does it. I'm doing it. The Prisoner's Dilemma of Rat Race. I think I will get... It's Nuclear Warfare and Ratatouille. <laughs> We're not pre-gaming Ratatouille for the GameCube. That's... I don't want to, but I just wanted to know what the skip was. Like... In my mind, I was like, could you realistically do it on accident? And the answer is no. I watched the, the the skip, and it was like, you cannot do this on accident. And there is no way in hell I could, like, fake it to an audience and then be like, that was an accident. I can't believe he found it. Mutually assured three-hour skip. Yeah, I mean, I guess if we both do it, it's fine. I mean, we can just make the stream a little shorter and just both do the skip. Yeah, maybe we both just do the skip. Didn't I say I was going to do a new egg lock for Heart Gold Soul Silver? I will. I've been a little, like, 
I'm in one of those modes where I just kind of wake up and then I go to bed and I'm like, where did all the time go? You know what I mean? I'm in one of those cycles right now. So I just haven't had the time to do it, but I will. I'll make a new Google form in the Discord. Uh, if you're subbed and you want to be in the next egg lock, and I'm probably going to try and do it within the next couple weeks, just knock it out real fast. Um, if you'd like to be part of it or submit a good egg, uh, sub and join the Discord, link your Discord with Twitch, and you'll be able to submit it. I'll post a Google form, let's say tonight. What does that mean for the previous egg lock? Uh, I, I'm just not gonna do it. <laughs> but, 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 I have all the saved in and everything. I think it, it might be one of those things like, Maybe I pull it out in like a subathon or something. Because like the footage is still there. I just don't feel like dealing with Gen 9 or Gen 7. I'll probably finish it another day. But Gen 4 just sounds so much easier and quicker to finish. Because for me, I'm, I'm not a Gen 7 hater. I like Gen 7. But if I just want to like show off all the cool and sh like new shiny Pokemon... Gen 7 is a pretty bad way to do that because there's just so much story and so much dialogue and the 3DS emulator is a little janky. Yeah, it's just a super story-driven game. But I'd probably still try to finish the Gen 7 egglock eventually. It's just an eventually thing. Especially now with Citra being taken down. Was it? Citra was taken down? Is that real? I did not know that. It was? Oop. I did not know that. That's upsetting. He still works. Oh, oh, because of Yuzu? Oh, was that in the same lawsuit? I didn't know they were related. Well, I mean, I still have Citra, so I'm like, this obviously still works. But I guess uh, it's not getting updated. <laughs> I guess it's not getting updated. <laughs> Got it. I did not know they were the same team. No, I didn't know that. Interesting. Cool. Unfortunate. <laughs> Actually, unfortunate. Not cool. I, mean, I still have Citra, so it'll be fine. I guess I just won't hear no evil, speak no evil of where I got this from. Oh, that guy looked a little lighter. Maybe it was just the lighting. He's tiny, though. Polywag, come home, hated. You don't even know. I mean, you've been around. Like, you do know. You actually do know. But like, oh jeez. <laughs> How many is that? That's 38, so 738. Just pretend there's a seven there. At least we ended it. At least the chain died on a real nice even number. So we don't have to like do any real math. Have I read more of the Dragon Ball manga? Yeah, I think I'm 30 chapters into original Dragon Ball, and I really wasn't feeling it because I think it's been mostly sexual harassment. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna tough through it. I'm gonna see how people feel about the rest of it. Uh, it is a the original manga is interesting. I can say that much. Yeah, yeah. There's some people that just say yeah, it gets better. Everyone, it's been a yeah, it gets better. OGD, OGDB is a watch rather than a read IMO. That's fine. I'm a, I like reading more than watching pretty much in any scenario. So I'm going to, I'm just going to keep reading. I will watch Z with, or I'll watch. <gasps> it finally happened. Oh my God. Oh, break out the great ball. Okay, I cannot believe it did not take as long as Vulpix, but it is it is very close. It is very close. Now, oh my god, who was here? The square. Praise me, the square. Oh, please. Oh. Okay. You know what? Shorter than Vulpix. <laughs> Shorter than Vulpix. So what is that? 741. <laughs> and Vulpix was 752. My god. Yeah, we're never beating Vulpix. Oh my god. 
Wow, what a payout. Because, like, those odds were stacked against the believers there. Wow. Praise be the square. All I needed was the update. It was just a little refresh. Yeah, just pretend there was a seven there. Oh. Let's grab them. We can't nickname Mel Metals because they come from the eBay region, just so you know. But, uh... Okay. Mm-hmm. So now we... What is Poliwag's name? Let's go check this guy out. Mm. Timid. Timid and tiny. Hmm. Oh, yeah. We said square. We did say square. We did say square. There we go. Uh, and for Eevee... You know what? I'm just gonna... Wait a second. I'm gonna... There we go. There we go. Alright, so we're at 45 now. I know it's uh, a little early because we still have to evolve them, but 45 out of 50! 45 out of 50! It feels it feels real now, right? It feels real. We're close. We're very close. We're so suddenly close. Wait, I wanna. I think I wanna have Mel Metal follow me, cause he's just really big. <laughs> Look at how huge this guy is. <laughs> he's a little slow too. He's getting a little left behind. All right, uh, real quick, what do we want to catch now? Uh, I want to save Magikarp for the 50th. So what do we want to catch? Huh. Pikachu sounds too rough. Um. Oh, I did say Diglett. Yeah, let's start on Diglett now. Yeah, I guess I'll change stream title to 45 out of 50. Oh, it's a huge day. Yeah, I guess I'll save. That's probably a good idea. So I think when it all comes down to it, we're going to be... What were the mods we actually cheated for? Because I think Melton, Melmetal, Eevee, Vaporeon, Dratini, Dragonair, Dragonite. Okay, that's seven mods, so it's... Yeah, you know, you know, <laughs> I think they were fair. I think, I think the Dragonite, entirely fair. No, they were all legit. They were claws. It was the Pokemon Go claws. Guys, you know, it was the starter claws where we get another free shiny because it's shiny locked. It was within the rules. It was, no, it was within the rules. Not scuffed in any way. I think I can make a compelling argument for all of them. So... The shine, like, Eevee was shiny locked. Therefore, we had to use one for Pokemon Go to get the shiny. And we just happened to evolve into Vaporeon. And then there was the Pokemon Go clause, where we get to trade one shiny over from Pokemon Go. So we picked Shiny Dratini, the pink worm. And then for uh, Melmetal, Mel I mean, that's the eBay clause. No, those that's entirely fair. Yeah, we, right, chat? We all agree here. We all agree here. Yeah, shake, 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 shake. Um... I'm glad we're all on the same page. At the end of the day, it still took 14 months. Oh my god, there he goes. Big man. Yeah, let's pop another one real quick. Oh, hi fur, hi fires. I'm glad you guys got to see history be made. Is Oddish a rare Pokemon? No, it's just exclusive to Let's Go Pikachu. So we just don't have it. All right, uh, what's Chansey doing here? So we're gonna ignore that for now. Uh, no Doug Trio. We're gonna start catching Diglett. Yeah, place your bets though. Can we get a new prediction? Let's go, uh, you know, mm. let's do first. Oh, oh wait, I need, a, I need a friend here. 
Oh, is he going to be hard to catch? Probably just for now. But once we get a chain going, he'll be fine. Yeah, let's do sub 50. Let's do sub 50 for the first one. I want to see if anyone gets like super. Who's feeling good? Yeah, who's feeling good? We got the polywag. Oh, we got the polywag, all right. And we're leveling them up. Look at him go. Yeah, Chance is just here to wish you good luck. Sub 50 is easy. Yeah, we'll see. Do we have a water stone, though? We probably have to go out and buy one eventually. Right? Right? Polyrath isn't a trade evolution. Oh my god. Oh my god. Giant. Giant. Big man scared the hell out of me. <laughs> oh, people are going all in on the sub 50? I mean, no, a lot of people are denying. Honestly, it's free points. Oh yeah, Polytoad is trade. That's the King's Rock, right? <sighs> yeah, see, we just need to reset the update. People saying I'll find it 153. I don't believe people anymore. Because once upon a time we said that. And then it took 741. Only, <laughs> only in because huge payout. No, I believe it. I understand. It's like the 64 inch small chain chomp in Mario Party. That's, no, that's a great way to put it. No, buddy. Get in, get in the ball. Hello. Hi, Pixie. How are you? We finally caught the shiny Poliwag. He came home. And now we're on to Diglett. And then if we catch Diglett, we will be three away from playing the game for the first time since fucking May of last year. Is that true? It's something like that, right? How many encounters? Uh, Poliwag was 741 encounters, yeah. Uh, it almost topped <laughs> the biggest one, which was Volpix, at 752. Over, under, on finishing this before May. I... I think we're finishing this. I've been pretty good about only streaming this lately. So, I think... Uh, I streamed a little bit on Monday, a lot on Sunday, and then a little bit today. Yeah, I think I just see the light at the end of the tunnel right now, so I just want to finish it. I think we 100% finish this before May. I like Poliwag just standing there. Ah, oh, little guy. Little guy. Not the Dug Trio. That should count as three encounters. Uh, I just want to stick around, though. Melmetal will kind of be scaring the Diglets off, though. Kind of like, they just don't like his vibe. Am I excited for Rivals 2? Yes, but I'm honestly a little upset that Marvel Rivals just got announced. Because, like, SEO-wise, that sucks. They have to deal with that. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm sure they saw that and just said, fuck. It would suck if you lost the Nuzlocke. I don't think we can. I think when we have... Uh, the Melmetal eBay clause, because he gets to ignore the level cap because he's from e the region of eBay. I think he's fine. I think we win. Yeah, the drug lock is un un unwinnable. Exactly. Plus this baby game. That's true. I think when we have roided up Bell Sprout and level 100 Melmetal, I think we win. Imagine if he gets hit by a one-shot move. Oh, like Fissure or Sheer Cold. Yeah, I think the level 100 Pokemon could die there. Yeah, it could happen. Or he could die to Focus Blast. He could. Yeah, he could. It's a nah, I'd win for me. Did you play Baldur's Gate 3? Uh, my experience with Baldur's Gate 3 was I played it with a group of four people, and then we said, that was fun. Let's play it again sometime. And uh, then we never touched it again. Uh, we tried schedule for like a month and it just didn't work. So we just uh, never played it. Yeah, what a mood. That's how it goes. That's so real. Who did you romance? Did not even get to... Did not even make it that far. 
Just like real D&D. &D. <laughs> yeah, that is the vibe, huh? <laughs> they got D&D &D right is what I'm hearing. That's what that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard. Um yeah, where I'm do be walking around trying to find these little diglets. Um do we see one? Do Mel Mel Metal, I think you're scaring the hose. Oh, there they are, little guys. Oh, I only threw one that time. Oops. Maybe that's fine. No, it wasn't. Or he's not running away though. How many channel points for a Fraser cam? Fraser is like all around though. He's kind of Mr. Worldwide. I don't think we would ever be able to contain Fraser for to one place. He'll like hang out here for a little bit, go over there. You know, he's all around. He's Mr. Worldwide. He's just so big, man. Every time Mel Metal spawns, is that the biggest guy we have? Like I know Charizard is pretty big, but I feel like Mel Metal is like looming. I don't mean a permanent camera, just saying hi to Fraser. Well, I just don't know where he is. I think he's in the other room. Charizard only 5'11". Yeah, but he's like wide because the wings, you know? Oh, uh, who's trying to... Or double slap on Poliwag? Uh, sure. Wait, what is this? Hypnosis? Yeah. I love how another prominent Pokemon YouTuber posted a video on Grumpig's competitive history is the same day as Grumpig proclaiming it shall fall. I hope they're related. Oh my god, he's just, he's just giant, man. How tall is Melmetal? I can absolutely see me autopiloting here. I think it's super likely that I autopilot <laughs> into like throwing at a Doug Trio. That feels super likely. Rechat? What do you mean? That's all I do. That's all I do these streams. <laughs> He's 8-2? Yeah, no, that dude's a behemoth. Okay, so we're at 45. Uh... 45 shiny Pokemon. I'm gonna... Maybe... Mm, after Maybe we do get shiny Gyarados, because I think shiny Gyarados could look nice in the thumbnail, you know? I think catching Magikarp is funny, but I like the Gyarados, right? I'm not reading your messages. Sorry. <laughs> cry, cry more. I don't know. Um, do we want shiny Gyarados? I know we're all pretty desensitized to it, but it's a... Actually, actually, hear me out. In this game, you get to ride on Gyarados' head when you surf. That's pretty good. That's... I don't know. I kind of want to catch him now. I... Oh my god, wait. He's, he's not running, right? No, he's chilling. Sherbert is number 51. What else can we do? What else? We could... I don't really know what other Pokemon I want. I did try for Porygon for a very long time. Uh, off stream. And it just didn't happen. Yeah, what's the last one? What's the last one? If we do Diglett, Dugtrio, uh, Gyarados, Magikarp. We're 49 out of 50. We just have one awkward Pokemon to get after that. Shiny Lapras? Can you even... Where do you catch Lapras? I debated finishing Let's Go to Hunt Mewtwo. Nah, I'm not catching Shinies. I'm not catching Shiny Legendaries. That sounds awful. Also, Shiny Mewtwo, you gotta, you gotta beat the whole game to get Mewtwo. 
We could get like shiny Articuno for the like, get a legendary for the last one, but that shit sounds awful because it's full odds. It is entirely full odds, and you have to actually reset the game. The legendary shiny hunts just it's awful. I mean, we could. Someone said just catch Diglett Duck Trio and then three legendary birds. No. They also have a cutscene. Yeah, that's true. Okay, we run here. If you see them do the animation and the circle doesn't disappear, that means if you miss the catch, they're gonna run away, and uh, it's not worth it's not worth the gamble. You also can't get Mole Trace yet. Oh, that is true, huh? Maybe we, someone says we shiny hunt Mewtwo for fun. That's, now that's a good one. That's a good one. You should do at least one shiny bird. I mean, I do think the final Pokemon should be a little climactic. So I'm fine to entertain one shiny bird. I could be, I could entertain that. I could entertain one. Are we into are we into that idea? Or would you mm, Yes. Will the bird be faster than Vulpix? Uh I'm gonna say no. But here's the thing, it's so easy. It just wastes so much time. Shiny hunting the legendary bird, it takes so much time because you have to close out of the game. Ah. Uh, mm. It's got to be Articuno. I think all three of the birds' legendaries kind of suck, too. Yeah, they're not even good shinies. Okay, this might be like a weird note, but I don't mind shiny hunting all of these guys because there's always something going on music wise. But if I have to keep going to the home screen, boot up the game. I think it starts to be more annoying, and it's weird just because music's not playing. You know what I mean? It's not really worth it. You have to battle the birds before catching. I think as soon as you get into the battle, you know if they're shiny, though. I think that's the case. You can mute and play your own music. I knew people were going to suggest that. I don't want to do that. I know, I know. It's been a while since I've seen, but why do you need 50 Pokemon? So Pixie, in this game, they don't let you go into the fifth gym until you've caught 50 Pokemon. So when you're doing a shiny only run, you know, you kind of think, am I gonna commit to the bit? Yes or no? That's annoying. It's really not annoying. Cause like each gym has little checks and real and catching Pokemon is so easy in this game. Like, I could have easily ignored it and just caught 50 Pokemon. I just think this is the funnier way to go about it. And I'll stand by it. Did you know about the 50 Pokemon thing before starting this run? I did. I did. But uh, when I started this run, I still was not like... I did not figure out if I wanted to commit or not. I was kind of like entertaining the thought in the back of my head during the entire... Uh, um, during the entire playthrough, kind of. Tell me it's not 60 for gym 6. No, this is the final check. It's usually just like, uh, oh, for the fire gym, you have to have a Pokemon that's super effective against fire. Because that's what it was for Brock, too. It's just stuff like that. <sighs> have I fought Sabrina? No, I have four badges. But I still say this, that as soon as we catch that 50th Pokemon, we beat the game in the same day. It's going to be like a huge payoff. I think a lot of people who have been watching this run passively in the background, I think everyone's going to tune in when it actually comes time to play the video game. You know what I mean? It's going to be exciting. It's going to be exciting. 
What if you caught it today? Uh, if I caught five shinies in the next hour, I would cancel on Coney. I would. No, I promise you. I mean it, too. <laughs> I have to go get more Pokeballs in a little bit. No, this is not the Professor Oak Challenge. It's a Nuzlocke, but a very stupid and uh, stubborn Nuzlocke. When did you start this challenge? Uh, January 2nd, 2023. Oh yeah, he's learning Thundershock. He already has Thunderbolt. Oh wait, he's adamant. Oh, he's a physical attacker. Oh well. Melton is a little guy. We can bring out the little guy instead. Here, we can move these guys around. And then we can get just the little guys out. Yeah, because I think Melmetal is kind of scaring the hose a bit. Here we go. Yeah, see, that's a little guy right there. Uh, speaking of little guys, hi, Diglett. I can see the YouTube title. It took me years to complete this challenge. I mean this in the nicest way. Chad just does not know how to title YouTube videos. And it happens every time. It's like, I always see the top comment. I know it was like half a joke. They're like, alternate title. And then they do this, and it's just not a good title. I think, okay, chat, this is how the title works. Imagine, I pitch it, it's an elevator pitch. It's a thesis statement. The title is, if someone says, what is the video about? You're like, oh, I, I off the top of my head, it's like, uh, be Pokemon, let's go with only shiny. Something like that, something like that, simple. I'd probably like try to spice it up a little bit. And then in the video, they're watching it, and now how do you get them hooked, right? Because getting them to click on the video is one thing, and now how do you get them to stay? And that's where you put like the additional clickbait in it. And that's when I reveal, hey, this took me a year or something like that, you know? You have to keep dropping little key jingly places to make sure they stay. And that's how it works. Yeah, yeah, that's how it works. So all these title ideas you have, you just take the most general thesis statement Put that in the title, and then uh, you just drop all those other nice little hooks along the road. And that's how it goes. Will this be on the test? Yes, it will. Ugh. So we have one hour. Do we think we can catch this before the hour ends? Uh, I am going to back out and get some Pokeballs, though. It's a no. It's a no. I think it's a no, but you never know, you know? Hi, Chansey. Just had to check. Just always have to check. Oh, I really walked up here, huh? Wow, I did not realize I walked that far up. It just kind of happened so slowly. Oh, hello. Yeah, I was all the way back to Viridian. My bad. We want to do Great Balls. I think we're fine with Pokeballs right now. I think the double Pokeball is working. But is that more or less expensive than one Great Ball? I think... I don't know. Alternate title, beating Pokemon Pearl with only Squirtle. No. No, but thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. Someone says true. They cook with the title. No, it doesn't cook. Yeah, maybe. They they would feel a little clickbaited if they came. I, I do think so. Um, okay, the gas. Oh my god, look at the polywag candy we have. Oh my god. 999. I did not even realize. Okay, now we can get rid of some berries. That's where the big money is. All right. Um, what do we say? Great Ball's 300. No, I think double Pokeball is a strat. Because eventually, once we get to, like, uh, 31 encounters, he's going to start being, like, a green encounter. And it's going to be so much easier. Um, I, I don't think I need lures. 
You know, I'll just put the rest in Great Balls. If push comes to shove, I'll do it. Just make it... Make a the Nuzlocke look like it's a normal Nuzlocke, but you just got lucky and got shinies along the way. Chat, I hope you know the hook of this is that we're catching shinies. I see what you're saying, but hear me out. Okay, here's one guy. Here's one guy. Oh, and there's a shiny Poliwag. Uh, what level does Poliwag evolve on? I, I want to assume like 22, 20, 22 to 28, right? Somewhere in that range. 25? Got it. And then it's Waterstone after that. I don't think we have a Waterstone, but we can go get one. Oh, okay. Hey, would you look at that? 25. Maybe. Pause. Pause. Oh, chat was right. The square is evolving. Praise be. Holy whirl. Uh, yeah, I'll probably go buy a Waterstone whenever. Oh, that is a slightly lighter guy. Aw, oh, what an aw. Praise be the square of the most circular mon. <laughs> the square is stronger. Um, I don't think we have a water stone. I saw we had an ice stone. Or is that a different thing? Oh, that's box box. Uh, is it in candy jar? No, is it in battle? No. Power up, okay. No, we just have a water or an ice stone. Do we want to get it now? Oh, excuse me, Chansey. No, no, Chansey. It's okay. You could also use a King's Rock. I don't think you can. Yeah, let's see the green fella. <sighs> to the department store we go. Melt the ice stone. Ooh, that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Not the repel, please. Um, where's the department store? It's right up here. I guess I could just walk. No, it's over here. Never mind. I'm right to fly. I'm right to take the private jet. There's a water stone on Route 12? I'm just gonna buy it. Have I tried shiny hunting Nidoran male? Sure have. Sure did. That was the first one. <sighs> if I saw auto live on Monday, ooh, so I'm going to Japan soon, right? And every time I go to Japan, I like to kind of like see if any of the artists I listen to are going to be in Japan. And I was like, let, let me take a listen. I, I t looked it up, and sure enough, Otto is not going to be in Japan. And then I found out she's playing down the street from me this Friday. So, uh, I'm going to go do that. I'm going to go do that instead. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, Jade and I are going to go see Otto, which I'm super excited about. I need to listen to more of her music. Uh... I mean, it's not like I'm going to be singing along anyways. I'm just going to nod my head with all the other One Piece fans and be like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, New Genesis. Yeah, no, I know that one. <laughs> all right, I guess we keep moving. Um, I mean, I know I've listened to all of her music. I've listened to her quite a bit, but I stand by it. You are so irresponsible with money in real life? Going to a concert of an artist I want to see is irresponsible? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Oh. Okay. Here's another one. Now we're at 45. I mean, we still have to evolve Gengar and Golem, but like... We're at 45. The square green is here. The green square is here. God, he's just green now, huh?
All right, goodbye, angry green man. Oh, submission, no thanks. We're good. Why is he so sick? Yeah, why? Just, they change color so much. Bro is just green. <laughs> now we've changed the square color. <laughs> Do you have a favorite One Piece opening? Yo, legit? For the longest time, it was We Go. I love We Go. But current, man. Us is so good. It's so good. I think the current opening is like the best one they've ever had. It's so good. <sighs> okay, so now we're back. To Diglett Cave we go. And to Diglett Cave we will stay for a long time. Mine was Bon Voyage. I love Bon Voyage. I think that one might be like third for me. We are is so hard to rank though, because it's just like it's like quintessential one piece, you know? We are is just so hard to rank, because it feels bigger than the series. All right, let's find that Diglett, though. Mods, if someone says superpowers, ban them, please. Yeah, Koro is a massive superpowers hater. God, Polyrath is big now. Uh-oh. Favorite Hunter opening? Same thing. I think OP1 is so good. Departure is just like one of my favorite songs ever used in an opening. It's so good. Huge Departure fan. What color is Shiny Diglett? Uh, to my knowledge, it's the exact same color, but his nose is blue. Right? Is that right? Yeah, it is. What's your JJK opening? Uh, it's OP3. Imadamo. I like that one. Uh, I mean, specials is good. I mean, I'm a huge Eve fan, so I like OP1. OP2 is kind of like the only, like, eh for me, but OP3, easy. Where Are Blue is so good? No, no, that song is like... Oh, I love that song. And then, like... Look, I got the Gojo Ghetto brain raw. Like, I'll be so real. And if you look at the translated lyrics for where your blue is, oh my god, man, it hurts. It hurts. It's such a good game. The meaning is just so them. It's so them. It's so them. That's the hardest part. It's so them. Oh, there's a little diglet, though. Top three One Piece movies? I don't know. I like Gold. I think Gold's my favorite. I just like the heist of it. Uh, I watched... I watched Film 6 recently, and that shit was shockingly good. I watched it in 240p, but it was good. I like Film 6. I just wish it had, like, an ending. But it was good. Uh... What else do I like? I think Gold is my favorite. Six is good, and I don't know. I I don't really like a lot of the films. I think they're just kind of like eye candy, you just like point the screen and pog at. But I think I like gold. I think it's like golden six. <laughs> uh, red is fun, but red just has like the final fight is cool and the music is good, but I don't, the rest is yeah. I, I just like. Right, because it introduced me to auto. Stampede is like the just fanfic, but I like it because every character you could ever think of is in that movie. Stampede is super fun. It is fun. Yeah, I'll stand by that. Maybe uh, I'll say Stampede is my third favorite. I'm just excited for the Netflix adaptation, like the live action. I think the live action's uh good. There was like, I mean, a couple things that I think they changed and did really good, and a couple things they changed that I don't like. But that's like fair, right? They just want to keep fans happy enough and then introduce it to new fans. And I think like, I can understand that. I get it. They're doing an anime remake too. Is that the Wit one? I just didn't know that was a Netflix one. That's them? 
Oh, I didn't know that was uh, Netflix, too. Usopp ruined live action with the actor. Oh, actor great, but the writing, it's it's fine. I think my biggest overall critique of the live action was I wish it wasn't as quippy, and I wish everyone wasn't as edgy. Because I think, like, pre-time skip Zoro is honestly, like, a pretty jolly guy, I feel. You know? I, I don't think it was until, like, Saba Odi when he really started getting, like, very gruff and serious and stuff. I think, uh, yeah, Zoro, they kind of just made him, like, the edgy one-liner witty guy. And I think Nami should be a little, I think all the characters should just be a little happier. <laughs> like, I think that is my biggest critique on the live action. I never thought I'd hear you ask for less edge. I don't really like edge. I just like edge and, like, character designs. Like, I like edgy designs, but I still want the characters to have, like, depth. Yeah, Inaki was perfect for uh, Luffy, Luffy, though. He was great. I think the Sanji... Sanji was the biggest improvement in the live action for me, IMO. Because I think Sanji's over-the-top simp behavior is, like, a little much. Because it's also, like, pretty, like, obnoxiously perverted at times. But I think the live action makes Sanji, like, kind of a fuckboy. Instead of just being a pervert. You know, and I think it, I think that works really well. And it lands a lot better, like, today. Oh, okay, the double miss. Okay, the triple miss. Quadruple miss. He was a gentleman early on in One Piece. That's not true. That is, that is not true. Yeah, I think uh, live action Sanji is, like, good. I like it. Um, but yeah, I think, I think Garp being super Irish is pretty funny, or super Scottish, and then Luffy, it just isn't. <laughs> I can't wait for them to introduce Dragon, too. You know, it's just, it's gonna be all over the place. Um, I don't like the Garp inclusion. I'll say it. I think it's fine to include him. But I don't think it's good to include him failing. I think having Gart be present is sure whatever. But let's say that One Piece gets... The live action gets current. Well, now Garp is a major character and he's supposed to be heroic and strong. But in the first season, we made him look like a bumbling idiot. You know? Just make it Smoker. Just introduce Smoker like one season earlier and it's fine. I think everything Garp did in Season 1 could have just been Smoker. Yeah, that's my take on it. Where's my favorite anime other than One Piece? Oh, no, no, no. I'm a One Piece anime hater. Don't worry. I do think my favorite anime, though, it's like legitimately JJK. It's like, it was Kill a Kill for the longest time, but I just really like JJK. And the animation is just so good. Can't stand the anime. I'm an OP manga only girl. Oh my god, you and me both. Like, just the fact. I don't know. I can read the manga. I. When people tell me, oh, I couldn't get in the anime, and I'm like, facts. True. True. Bet. I just believe it. But uh, I, I think the manga is so good. I'm a current JJK manga hater. Yo, don't even get me started. Uh, For me. Yeah, current JJK, I roll my eyes once a week. Uh, I'm probably getting drafted next. But I think the JJK manga, I don't know. I think the animation is just so much better. And then you read the, I don't know. I just think the manga, not even just the current arc, manga entirely, like, I don't even think, it's not bad. I think that JJK manga is good. I think the anime evolves it so infinitely much. I'm just, I can't wait to see the rest of the manga get animated because I think I might just enjoy it more. Is Rot Race still happening? Should in an hour. 
No way I missed Poliwag. I'm sorry, Rick. I'm sorry. Have you tried reading Bleach? Uh, once I was talking to a girl with dark hair who listened to Deftone, so I started Bleach, yeah. I never finished it, though. <laughs> I think that's the most real thing I can possibly say on the subject matter. <laughs> you do what you gotta do. <laughs> Can't wait to see more Yuta in anime. I wish season two ended in a different spot. I wish it ended at the Yuta reveal, or it ended at the next time Yuji and Yuta meet. Like, the end of that fight, if they ended at the end of the Yuta-Yuji fight, that would have been so good. That would have been such a good way to end Season 2. It would have been a much better cliffhanger than Lil Bro doing stretches. <sighs> Anime pacing can hurt? No, no, no. JJK pacing is great. Like, I'm, I'm not shit on the pacing. I just wish they chose a slightly different spot to end Season 2 on. Thank you, I said this since it came out. Yeah, I just thought I knew where it was ending. I'm glad they included the Yuta thing. I just wish it ended there. There were just two really good points to end a season, and they chose the one in the middle of those two points, and I'm like, sure. Yo, ready for Maki to be animated? Yo, honestly peak character. Oh, I think like two or three chapters ago, I have a manga server with my friends and the Maki chapter came out and I was the first one to respond to the chapter dropping and I just said, she got hit by a what? <laughs> like, that's... I I just could not believe my eyes. I could not believe Gege Akutami did that to me. <laughs> Is the One Piece manga pacing better somehow? Oh, it's phenomenal. Here's the thing. A good, a well-paced anime, people usually expect like two to three chapters per episode. Uh, the One Piece anime is also not seasonal, so it's year-round. And they average nowadays like 0.5 to 1 chapters per episode. So it's not that the manga pacing has anything to do with it. They just adapt less of the manga per episode than the average anime. So the manga pacing is great because also... You can read like one chapter in like uh, five, six, like five, six, seven minutes, you know, four if you're fast. But like getting that much information done through reading versus like watching one episode, it's so, it's so much easier. KK is always a case of he did what? Yeah, you never really know. Here, I'm gonna... Uh oh, uh oh. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. I looked away. Oh my god, that was almost bad. Oh. Um. God, these diglets are hard to catch. Do we have 31? Yeah, we have a catch combo. Maybe I try one Great Ball and then one Pokeball. Okay, that's green. Okay, I'll just do that for now. Yege's All Star Gauntlet has been taking forever. Yeah, I'm just going to spin a wheel with everyone who's alive and see what happens next week. It might be right. Guys, why do Why do I... I saw that I have a friend request on Discord, which is very uncommon. Because I have so many protective layers on how people can add me. And then sure enough, I see that I have one incoming Discord friend request from Simiseer Official. What? Why? How did you get through my defenses? Who added you first? We just have a random mutual friend, so you, you got through the security. All right, thank you for the attempt, semi seer official. I, I do appreciate it. You're brave. You're very brave. Nice. 
like... Ask Timmy Steer if he supports trans rights. I mean, I don't know if anyone can support it more than Grumpig. Oh, there's a little diglet. Hello. We got the polywag. Yeah, 741. Yeah, pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, diglet. Yeah. I like how just the Jaden emote comes out. <laughs> I love seeing those little guys. I like just how short she is. <laughs> she just looks like she's just barely peeking over. Yeah, do. As you do. So many times I'll just see you peeking through that door. <laughs> I mean, we're on the start of the Diglett. We got like, uh, how many? 44, not bad. That's a good start. He's so big. Did you see how big Melmetal is? No, I haven't. Oh, this guy is huge. Here, we'll, we'll uh, swap the Polyrath around. Here you go. Look at this guy. Oh my yeah, God. Yeah, he's a big man. He blocks the caves. The Diglets can't even get through. If I walked into this cave and saw that, I'm running. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving. Especially if it's Gen 1. You don't know what the hell that is. No. Oh, wow. You really named him Square. I mean, praise be. What else were we named him after? How long until Rat Race? Uh, it was going to be at 5. Let me message Coney. Um... How, I'm going to say, how serious are you about racing today? Send a rat emote. Send a, send a rat emote, I will. Yeah, yeah that'll show him. <laughs> yeah, 40 you're minutes. That you're serious. I'm serious. Oh, Coney is typing. For the first time in five months. What's he got to say? Let's see, let's see. Oh my god, no way, Coney. He's he sent me the fucking splits. <laughs> All right, no, he's ready. He has the splits prepared and ready. Okay, we're good to go. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jaden. Yeah, it looks like the rat race is happening. And I'm just going to ask him for the file because I don't want to make it myself. T-Y-T-Y. He's had the splits for a year. <laughs> just been waiting. Do the three hour skip. I will tell him about the three hour skip. Because if we both know about it, it's fair. If we, if we both want to do it. Because if both of us are just like, let's save some time. You know? But I think, no, I think the splits, it would break the splits. No, we'll just play the game. We'll play the game. It's fine. How long is it without it? Uh, I've heard that the game is probably like four or five hours for us casually, and the skip will save like three hours. So uh, I think it would be a little unfair. How long to beat says five and a half hours. I saw that, but we're gamers, so I always go a little under what how long to beat says. Okay, where's the diglet though? I mean, we're almost at, oh, big man. There's a, I'm just looking for the little diglets. I'm surprised that we're not getting more. We have lures up, but I'm just, I'm a little shocked. Do you think there'll ever be more how do we get here? Or is it over for good? I think right now, I think Coney's just a busy guy. Uh, to put it in perspective, we tried to stream this rat race in May of last year. So, uh, streaming a podcast, it just became too hard. But I'm sure I'll do something eventually. And I like doing stuff with Coney when I get the chance. But uh, we'll see if we can get more chances, you know? 
Oh, this was so much closer to Chicken Little. Yeah, this was supposed to be the week after Chicken Little, by the way. Just to really put it in perspective. And when was Chicken Little? I think it was April of last year. Yeah, I think it was in April. I want to say April. Yeah, it was supposed to be bi-weekly. Yeah, it, it was a... It wasn't even bi-annually. No, it was a... Yeah. Didn't that video come out only a month ago? Okay, no, that's just wrong. That's entirely wrong. The video came out, I think, in like May or June. Yeah, so maybe uh, we can stream Madagascar together next year. Maybe. Maybe if we're lucky. Yo, no one can stop me from eating a whole bag of King's Hawaiian Rolls 32 count. Okay, thank you, uh, someone4203. That's uh, insightful, and I wish you the best. I think we've all been there. Did Kony come to AFA? No, he doesn't really know all the, the group at large very well. And he's also, like, busy. I think, uh... I think once you have... Like, I, I know Kony hates bringing it up. But I do think it's, like... It's harder to go out of town for a week once you have a kid, you know? And I think... I, I got no problems with it, you know? He's a busy man. He's got a busy life. But I will still cherish every moment I get with him. Oh, is that 50? Was that 50? Unlucky. Uh, so I don't, I'm not even fully sure if I have enough time to do uh, 50 more encounters. So can we just do a prediction to say like pre rat race shiny diglet? Just uh, if it happens, it happens, you know? We'll get as much as we possibly can. And maybe we can do it. it. Could be anything. Next year. Oh, I can't wait to play Madagascar in a year, though. <sighs> this payout's gonna be wild. It look. It could happen though. That see, that's the thing, right? Everyone is saying no, and they'll probably get free money. But if you put a lot of money in, yes. Oh, the payout, though. Oh, the payout. Any plans for new merch? I want another plushie. We have some plans. I'm just, like, behind on things I need to do. If I can be so honest. I'm just a little behind. But I'd like to. I'd, I mean, I'd like to do a little plush that has blonde hair. But I'd like to. I still grieve the Sasuke says swear shirt. Well, here's the thing. Joe and I have talked about whenever we bring back gold, we, we want to bring back the shitty Teespring merch store as well. So there is a chance we bring all the shitty merch from Plus Deluxe back. I mean, it's just on Teespring. It is, it's not that hard to make. But, you know, we'll do it. Do you think you'll bring back gold this year or next? We're bringing it back in, like, in within a couple months. We we had a pretty big meeting yesterday, figuring out like everything we need to do beforehand, and it's in the works. It's in the works. New game every hour. That's it. That's what we were plotting. We play one minute of every game ever made this year. Will the Ace of Hearts vinyl ever get a re-release? I don't think so. Um, they're limited. I mean, maybe, maybe if we, for the next album, if we do vinyl, we could bring back Frozen in time. We'll see. We'll see. But it's uh, still a huge question mark. It's so crazy. I sent the... I have 12 demos done. 12 demos for 12 songs for one album. And it's done. I just need to figure out when am I going to set time aside to record the album. And I just don't. But I could just realize it's it's like done. 
it's the the work on the album is done. I just need to record it, and I just don't. I just don't. Eventually, the answer is eventually. Yeah, good luck whenever you do. Thank you. It it'll happen. Just find yourself a date. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah, that really is it. Can we get a promise within 2024? Uh, no. We can get a promise I want to by the end of 2024. We can go with that. I have a question. Will the AFA video release within the next month? I'm not doing a video over it. I've said it so many times. It was just uh, fun with my friends. I, I will do a little stream. I'll talk to you about the week. But, uh, that's it. Yeah, never make promises with chat. No, I know better. Favorite candy? I'm not a candy guy. I don't really eat sweets. Which is, like, for a pretty good trait. And I don't think my diet is incredible, but I think just the fact I don't eat any sweets keeps me alive. That means you'll have to change the exclamation mark video, though? No, it doesn't. No, it does not mean that. It was not streamed, and I don't have to do this. Oh, I wasn't in the more recent streams. Oh, sorry for, for getting an attitude with you. No, it's okay. It's fine. Would Ace Hearts ever go on tour? I want to. I think the reason this album is so hard to put together for me it's because the first one was kind of done as like a solo project, but I would like bring studio musicians in to do parts. But I'm currently trying to assemble like a real band to record in the studio and then that same band that can go on tour. Like that's kind of the game plan, but just finding people, finding talented musicians is hard. Finding talented musicians you vibe with is even harder. So that's the, that's where we're at right now. But we're, it's just like, if you're looking at like a JRPG party, like we're adding on to it. We're like almost there. And then it's just a matter of getting everyone together. Are you one of those people that separate chocolate and candy as separate things? No, I don't really eat either. So, so no. But thank you, I think. Um, oh wait, where am I? Where are the silly little diglets? Thoughts on jingling keys? I like jingling keys. Can there be a shiny up at the top if you're at the bottom? Life is just so cruel, huh? I guess that is correct. It really could be. But you'll never really know, huh? On lucky number 64 do you really think it's gonna be 64 I mean I don't see I don't see a new little guy spawn anywhere I do wonder though cuz you know every catch is irrelevant of the last catch because the one we had today we caught the new polywag in 41 encounters like let's say we started today 41 not bad that could happen to the diglet we could find one any second now Evan, big guy spotted. Evan, this guy is huge. Evan, people were just asking about what if we put out a new Ace of Hearts album. What do you think of that? 
Like, hypothetically, what do you think of that? How do you feel on the topic? People are begging for it. You would love to listen to it? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Alright, buddy. Yeah, I'm sure you'd love to listen to it, man. Give it up for Thunder Scott, everybody. <sighs> I'm starting with new music. We'll do something eventually. We'll do something eventually. Smile, he says. That's just a smile. Anyways, we're trying to catch a little shiny Diglett. And we'll see if we catch one. Um. No, not yet. I think it's funny when you see both of the Pokeballs like clip into each other right at the end. What are your thoughts on everything that's ever happened everywhere? It's a little much for me. Oh, it'll be encounter 67? Bet? No. No way. No bet. I mean, where it's I don't I don't believe it. I think what helped last time was I entirely gave up faith that we could catch the shiny Poliwag. And I think maybe that's what I need to do. I mean, I also don't think we're catching it with the hour. So maybe I'm already doubting. But maybe I'm doubting because I believe? Hmm. I don't know. I really don't know. Damn. Can you time people out who guess wrong? Absolutely. Would I call myself an introvert or an extrovert? I think, like, in college, I was a pretty big extrovert. But I think... Once I kind of hit the grindstone on, like, making silly videos and kind of locked myself up in a room for, like, four years and then slowly started. I I think I used to be an introvert. And I think... Or I used to be an extrovert. I'm pretty sure I'm an introvert now. Like, I can do large crowds. I don't get my energy from it. Like, that's shit for sure. Yeah, I would say I'm an introvert with uh, social ability. You know, I really like... Here, here's the thing. I really like interacting with people online. Do you have friends that I'm like, oh, this their energy is a bit much in person, but over Discord or like iMessage or something like that, it's just like, I think I have that with a lot of people where I'm like, I really like interacting with people through my computer. And I think that's awesome. I think it's awesome. I love hanging out with my friends on the computer. I think that's my favorite way to hang out with people. I'm also just not like a big crowds kind of guy. I uh, I like hanging out with people one-on-one, -on -one, getting brunch, getting dinner, something like that. Go, go, let's go see a movie, let's go to a show, something. But uh, I'm not too, too big on like large crowds, but I will go if I know enough people. This guy, this little Switch up I guess we don't need the chain uh, command anymore. I'm just looking around. I like, does this overworld have shinies? It does. And like the shinies have like a good amount of sparkles around them. Like I really do think that with that polywag, I don't even think I would have been able to tell that it was shiny. You know, I think I only knew it was shiny because of the sparkles on it. That's why my reaction was a little like luck lust lackluster to it. Because I just kind of couldn't even process that it was. It was also in a bush. It kind of was. It was just a big gas, A big relief. I 
I think I need more great balls. I think we're around that time. I'm gonna catch a diglet on the way out, but I'm gonna great ball it out. Oh, come on. Diglet is worse, only its nose changes. Yeah, yeah, that is kind of true, huh? I'm glad you got this shiny polywag. Oh, trust me, me too. Yeah, more than happy. Wait, what is what is Coney messaging me for? Um, okay, down. I forgot Coney did want to uh, save on every crash. He's just scared of the game crashing. Oh, you know what? We do play without save, so I do think that's the right play. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna go by Pokeballs. Excuse me. I forget the other one just follows behind. I thought the game crashes every now and then. Oh, fun little surprise. I'll catch one on the way out, okay. I'll catch one on the way out, I say. Is two players better for grinding? I wouldn't say it's like better, it's just the capture rate is it's easier to catch a Pokemon, but it's pretty whatever. When is the next Sonic Adventure DX stream? Oh my god, honestly, I kind of forgot I started that, but I will finish it. We got the whole game, and now we just got to get all the missions. I forgot. No A ranks, though. We just have to do the missions, which should be fun. Yeah, I'd like to do that. It's funny that last time I went to Japan, I wrote the entire Sonic Adventure 200% script. And this time when I go to Japan, I'm probably going to write the Sonic Adventure 1 script. Uh, just a funny thing to happen. Yeah, we don't have a ton of money here, but enough to just buy Great Balls. Because we have more than enough Pokeballs now. Um... Yeah, I just one great balls. 51. Oh, no, we're kind of we're kind of poor right now. <sighs> I like little Melton following us though. Oh god, I am I'm tired. I have I'm already low energy and I've done nothing today. And I still got a whole rat race ahead of me. I'm going to Tokyo again. Yeah, I am. I'm going with uh, Captain Kid. You guys might not, you might know him as Japan Brayden, but me, Jaden, and Brayden's girlfriend, the four of us are going to go, and it should be a lot of fun. Can I come with? Uh, sure. No. No, why did I say sure? No, absolutely not. I just meant like, yeah, you could go to Japan, but no, you can't come with. Sorry. Sorry, I didn't mean to get your hopes up. Does Captain Kid speak Japanese? Yeah, it was uh, his major. He, he's fluent. He studied abroad for a short while. I mean, like two years. That's more than a short while. Bobby says, can I come with? You actually can't because you'll already be there. Luckiest first time shatter ever. Yeah, I'm just like, yeah, tag along, man. They caught me slipping. I did. They caught me in, like, now I have to bring them to Japan. Yeah, that's on me. That's my bad. I, yeah, I slipped up. Yeah, wildcard member three mentioned. Yeah, we love wildcard member three. Bobby says Wildcard might single-handedly get the Mario DS multiplayer taken down because of YouTube tweet. Why are you being so pessimistic? Like, 
the, the guy who made it is excited, so I think, uh, I, I, I don't want to put that voodoo out in the world. You know, that's all I gotta say. I feel, honestly, I would feel, sh like, awful if that happened. So I don't even, like, want to wish it, will it in the world. I would feel legitimately terrible. I would feel like an awful person if that happened. For just simply playing a little silly game. Yeah, the wildcard video we made playing the Mario Battle Royale, uh, YouTube Gaming tweeted it out. I don't think it really means anything, but I would feel awful if that happened. How come I keep thinking that player 2 noise is a shiny sound? No, I get it too. What does spawning second trainer do? Uh, you just throw a second ball out. That's it. That's all it is. Yeah, YouTube Gaming, they notice. Mm. Oh, there's a little diglet. What if you turned around and you had a nice little shiny nose? So... I don't think we are going to find the Diglett in time, but does anyone have like a guess on what encounter number it might be for the next time we hunt Diglett? I think it's also the square was such a, it brought so much power, so much wisdom. It was so kind to us. And I feel like just going through the dark, ugly cave, it feels like it's taking longer than the eight hour stream, you know, just off of that alone. Long story short, I missed the square. That's what I'm trying to say. It could be a low number. I mean, most of them have been decently low. It's really just the polywag. It was an anomaly. I think we were... What is double odds? It'd be 342 plus 313. Okay, so we weren't double odds, but we were creeping up on it. I will always believe, but maybe 313. Yeah, 313's a good guess. I think 344. Yeah, 344 is odds because you have to get the first 31 out of the way. Not really. That's kind of. It's not entirely true, actually. But it's like a little over 313. We'll see what happens, though. Oh, God. Jump scare Chansey. What happened? What have I missed? Uh, well, these guys, we got, they got eBay claws in, which I'm sure you're familiar with eBay claws if you watched a lot of these Nuzlocks before. So, uh, it's just another day in the office. You get it. Oh. Classic eBay claws. eBay, it's clutch. Elaborate? Well, how else am I supposed to catch Melton in this game? That's the, that's the question, right? You got to trade it. And the best way to trade it is through eBay Claws. Hey, you guys get it. You understand. Okay, show me. Nope, not that guy. I'll grab this guy. I'll you only come and go back down. People saying with Ace of Hearts only tour the West Coast. Look, I hear you. The album is a hypothetical right now. The tour is beyond a hypothetical. I don't have the answers. I don't know. Big guy, says Evan. Oh, he's a huge guy. Streets say he is eight foot two. That is a colossal man. And he's like, not like Snorlax big. He still has like proportions of like, he's got arm stuff. You know, he walks. It, I don't know. It just feels so much more intimidating that, oh. For a second, I kind of forgot I was controlling the girl and thought I was controlling Melmetal with the second controller. I kind of forgot for a bit. So I wish we could nickname him, but unfortunately, eBay would not allow us to. Oh, 
the one downside of the eBay clause. Yeah, it, we just don't have everything we could do. Unfortunately, I wish we could name him. I asked the guy on eBay if he could name him. He's like, sorry, I can't. And I'm like, okay. I mean, coming up with all these guys is too hard. Oh, wait, Melt is level 50 now. I got to do something about it. Uh, he's a little over Cap, but it's okay. He wasn't joining the team anyways. Oh, Square is right at Cap, so we'll take both of these out. Uh, Melmetal is at... I think Melmetal's fine because he's at level 100, so we can just kind of keep him around. And he's a big, giant guy who kind of adds a little bit of comedy to the stream. But isn't eBay Claus Super C level cap? Just for Melmetal, unfortunately, not Mel 10. I understand where the confusion is, but it's because we bought him at level 100, so, like, there's nothing we can do to lower it. It's, it's, I know, it's a bit of an annoying rule, but, you know, it is what it is. Yeah, you're, you're my mistake. I understand. It's fine. What's a Nuzlocke? Sorry if you get this question a lot. Uh, believe it or not, I actually don't get that question a lot. Uh, let me explain it. A Nuzlocke is... Imagine Pokemon, right? There's a lot of extra rules and variations that you can do to make it easier or harder. But at the core of it, a Nuzlocke is you can only catch the first per the first Pokemon on every route that you run into. And if it faints in battle, it's dead for good. So it limits how many Pokemon you can get. And then it limits how much you can waste, right? You just have to think smart. And then there's like other rules you can add. Like I always like to play without items. I, because I think they're too strong. And then... If I lose in a battle and my whole team wipes, I don't just go to the box and see what I can put together. I lose. The game is over. So just, you know, there's a couple things you can do to make it easier or harder. It's just like the challenge is whatever you want it to be. See, and I'm very happy to uh, explain that question because I actually, yeah, I wonder how many people are just too scared to ask what a Nuzlocke is. Yeah, and if you feel like you need an encounter by uh, going on ebay.com, then so be it, you know? Then so be it. How does Melton evolve? Uh, only in Pokemon Go. He cannot evolve in this game. Yeah, I hope uh, that explained what a Nuzlocke is. This one is a bit different because we're, we're playing a Nuzlocke with only shiny Pokemon, which doesn't really mean anything in the scale of a Nuzlocke. But it's really because we're not using the first encounter on every route, you know. But we are using a, if it dies, it's dead forever. Hmm. Who are the starters in the eBay region? Uh, it's just Melton and Melmetal. I mean, if you look at the decks, they're the only Pokemon who don't have a region assigned to them. And that's because they are from eBay. It's true. It is true. Oh, we might actually make it to 100 before Rat Race. I didn't think we would. One hundred percent organic grass-fed vegan Melton. That's yeah, they're real. They are authentic and real. Born on eBay. Is eBay region the Gin Tin Leak? No, I don't know. I think it's just like it's like ore. You know, it's just like off in the distance. It's there, but we don't really go and talk about it. We don't know anything about it. Could you eat a Melton? Sorry, that stun locked me. I don't think so. It's just steel goop and and. and and can't use the word nut there. It is a nut, but not yeah, yeah. I could. You know what? Fuck it. I'll try. Yeah, I'll definitely try. You could if you're brave. I guess that is true. You wouldn't download a Mel Metal, huh? I did. Born in eBay, huh? Born in eBay. The big guy was born in eBay. Is he still around? Wait, where'd big guy go? Um, oh, well, we're going to have to have a random bird out of the Pokeball. So just birds here, too. Just just don't mind bird and big man. Oh, he's chasing me now, though. Where is a little Diglett? He is in pursuit. He is in hunt. Honestly, I'm getting like Water Wraith revives from uh, Pikmin. Dude, my, when Pikmin 4 came out, my Pikmin phase was bad. I'm looking back. 
Because in like the coming months to Pikmin 4 coming out, I played all through 1, 2, and 3 and uh, got all my friends to play it. And I was like consuming videos on challenge. Like my Pikmin phase was a, a deep rabbit hole. Yeah, I, I just realized how recovered I am. I haven't thought about Pikmin in a second, but like I was, I was deep in the trenches playing Pikmin for a while. Awesome game. Yeah, awesome game. A little bit of a hyperfixation moment. It happens. Oh, there's Diglett. Okay. Just, oh, two Diglets. I need to wait. I, like, I'm just wasting so many Pokeballs by just throwing them a little too early. I'm just going to stop. I'm going to wait it out. Ugh. Can we name a big metal guy? You know how they say, like, Jesus of Nazareth? Uh, we can just say Mel Metal of eBay. Because we can't actually change his name, but we can reveal uh, where he comes from. He is Mel Metal of eBay, though. What did I just say I was going to do? Why do I never learn? Why can't I grow and change as a person? It's like a tribe called Quest. You have to say the whole thing. That's true. You do. You do. Mel Metal of eBay. Their name is eBay. I would have named them eBay. I tried to, but they they said I couldn't. So, uh, oops. Yeah, I'll call Kony a second, because, like, he set his stream up for this. I have not set up my stream for this. Um, maybe, maybe I spend the time doing that. Maybe I, I save and we come back to this in a bit. Uh, just a little bit under 100. Hold up. Let me, uh... Okay, let me open Dolphin. I got that line around. Oh, yeah, I got to do some work right real quick. Okay. Um, Where's my controller? Oh, here it is. Okay, plug my controller in. Here's some window sounds. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Okay, we'll just vibrate, but it's good. Um, okay, I already got Ratatouille downloaded. I didn't know I had it like that. So, let me... How do I want to do this? I want to go... Maybe I do this, and then I go... Open Ratatouille. What the fuck? It just crashed on me. That's not a good sign. Maybe. Oh, I think I clicked... I think I just clicked the wrong button. Okay. Okay, let me, uh, hmm. All right, guys, we're going to do this in live time. Here we go. We're going to, I think it was here. No, what, what is this? What is this layout? Oh, my God. Have I, have I lost my layout? Um, hmm. I think I've lost the layout I used last time we did this. Was it? Yeah, yeah, I don't have it. I do not have it. Okay, so let's take this one and uh, oh my god what did I do oh I think I did this I think that's something like this and ch where did I put chat last time oh 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 I just don't think I had splits last time I think Coney had splits oh no I'm little now okay wait 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 okay okay I what was it? What did I do? Okay, Dolphin Chill. What did the stream look like? I guess I can just pull it up real quick. Uh, Alpha Rad Chicken Little. Let me recreate it real quick. Speed running. Yep, that's it. That's the one. Okay, I'd like 16 by 9 cam. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go little mode. There we go. This is not 16 by 9, but there we go. So I'm up here. That's what I did. And then, what is the fuck is this background I have? Okay, I have so much shit here. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay, chats can stay there. Oh, Undertale. That's what I changed this for. I see. Okay, all right. So I'm going to do this. And, uh, there we go. Put this right there we go you're seeing the magic happen in live time there we go okay and where did i put the timer 
Yeah. Oh, I just uh, looked at I'm... Coney's. Oh yeah, Coney's stream looked awful last time. I remember. No, no, it's all coming back to me now. Okay, so chat goes down here. Uh, cut it down. Yeah, and we'll put this like right. No, I did have all the splits. I just had a different layout. Okay. So now let me put up live split. No, I can make this in time. I actually think I can. Okay. Thanks to Kony sending me everything. Okay. All right. Uh, open edit splits or open splits from file. I actually think I got this. See, if you put everything off to the last second... Oh, actually, it kind of pays off sometimes. Because um, now I go plus add window. And yeah, there we go. Uh, let's go under all these borders. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're so cooking. Okay, now let's uh, move this up. There we go. Chat, you have a little more room to speak and talk. Oh, look at that. Yeah, procrastination always works. There we go. That's good. That's so good. Yeah, we're back. We have room. Um, Sometimes I put the little background. Wait, where's the where's my Pokemon background? Wait, wait. No, that's that's not right. Um, GBA. There we go. And I put this background here. No, here. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Wait. I want to put this here, and now we make this a little more... Okay, well, now it's over chat. There we go. Honestly, I should have had the timer on for that. Like, because that was more impressive than the race itself. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. It's not the final split. Because now we got to put Discord on right here. Or, uh... Okay, there, wait, this doesn't look like four by three. Wait, maybe I have to, let's get to the title screen. Maybe this is letterbox. I think it is letterbox actually. Uh-huh. Okay, please show me something else. Show me a title screen, not the THQ logo. There, honestly, that yellow was perfect. Oh my God, how many title screens do we have to go through? So I know it's this loading. It's below here. Okay, wait. Beautiful. Okay, now I got it. I'm glad they tell me how to pronounce it, though. Honestly, clutch. I'll stretch it out. I don't care. All right. And just like that, we're good to go. Uh, Bye, YouTube VODs. <laughs> <laughs>